Thank you, everybody, for joining us for the North Bailey, Crestwood, Lindenwood, Oaklawn, and Rockwood Area Water and Sewer Improvement Meeting. Please um, mute your microphone so that there's no feedback. You can look in the chat. If you, if you can't see the chat, we've got the um, project links, and we've got Brenda's contact information. The uh, video of this meeting will be linked to the two project pages by Wednesday. Um, if you want to ask a question in chat, please post uh, now. If you're not familiar with this, look down in the right hand, bottom right hand corner, click on chat, and you can type in your question. If you would rather ask a question, you can do that after we field all of the chat questions. And I am going to turn this over to Brenda or Aveda. Thank you, Sally. Um, so during today's design meeting, we're going to be covering two capital improvement projects that are in the same area, which is the North Bailey, Crestwood, Lindenwood, and Oaklawn area water and sewer project, which is city project number 103, 361 if you're searching it on the Fourth Ward's website, and also the Rockwood area water and sewer improvement projects, which is project number 103, 362. So during today's agenda, we will cover introductions of those involved with both projects, an overview of the project area and what work is being done, and we'll hit some frequently asked questions as well. So your design project team includes myself, Brenda Oropesa. I am the project manager, and I can be reached at 817-392-8271. Again, that number is 817 817- 392-8271 and my email address is brenda.oropesa at fourthwordtexas.gov. The engineering design consultants on the projects include Vizentainer Engineering with Rhonda as the project manager on the consultant side and she's working on the Rockwood Area Water and Sewer Improvements City Project number 103362 and Jones Carter Engineering with Jennifer at Franklin and Mark Holliday as the consultant project managers, and they're working on the North, North Bailey, Crestwood, Lindenwood, and Oaklawn area water and sewer project, which is project number 103361. So we'll start going um, through the North Bailey, Crestwood, Lindenwood, and Oaklawn area water and sewer improvements project first, and then we'll go over project number 103362. So we will be replacing the water and sanitary sewer mains in the area bound by Oak Lawn Drive to the north, Rockwood Park Drive to the west, White Settlement Road to the south, and North Bailey Avenue to the east. These improvements take place in Council District 7, and it will impact the Crestwood Neighborhood Association and West, Al west Side Alliance. As for what we're going to be doing in those areas, we're going to be replacing the water and sanitary sewer on North Bailey Avenue from Crestwood Terrace to Lakewood Road. The sewer at Crestwood Terrace from Lindenwood Drive to North Crestwood Terrace. The water and sewer on Lindenwood Drive from White Settlement Road to Crestwood Terrace. The water and sewer on Crestwood Drive from north 685 feet from Crestwood Terrace to the northern, northern dead end. The water and sewer on Oak Lawn Drive, Springbrook Drive from, from North Bailey Street to Lakewood Drive, to Northwood Road, just right here. Um, the future easement between Rockwood Park Drive and Ridgewood Drive from Crestwood Drive North 232 feet. The easement between Springbrook Drive and Northwood Road from North 200 feet from the Northwood Road to North 287 feet, which is right here. As for the Rockwood Area Water and Sewer Improvements Project, which is project number 103362, It'll also be replacing water and sanitary sewer mains in the area bound by Rockwood Park Drive to the north, North Bailey Avenue to the east, Crestwood Terrace to the south, and Rockwood Park Drive to the west. 
These improvements also take place in Council District 7 and impact the Crestwood Neighborhood Association and West Side Alive. For this project, we will be replacing the water and sewer on Crest Haven Terrace from Rockwood Park Drive to North Bailey Avenue. Rockwood Park Drive from Lakewood Road South 350 feet. Northwood Park Road from Rockwood Park Drive to Wildwood Road. Ridgewood Road from Crest Haven Terrace to Crestwood Terrace. That'll be the water and sewer. The water and sewer uh, along the Engel, Englewood Lane, Edgefield Road, Sherwood Drive from Northwood Road to North Bailey Avenue, which is this segment right here. And the rear lots from Springbrook Drive and Edgefield Road from North 390 feet of Lakewood Road to 550 feet. That'll be the sewer being replaced. The rear of the lots between North Bailey Avenue and Edgefield Road from Wildwood Road to South 265 feet. The easement between Rockwood Park Drive and North Bailey Avenue from Crest Haven Terrace North 175 feet, which is right here. The rear of lots between Sherwood Drive and Crest Haven Terrace from Rockwood Park Drive to East 630 feet. So why are we doing this project? So Fourth Ward prioritizes water and sewer line replacements based on available data, which includes the main break history, the leak history, closed circuit TV inspection, age of the line, material of the line, and if there are any large services on the line. In this instance, the project was created because of the cast iron Pipe initiative the city of Fort Worth is implementing to remove old water, iron water mains, and old deteriorating sanitary sewer pipe. So, this um, map is just for reference. We are looking into adding some additional scope, which has not been finalized yet, but we will have more information updated on the city of Fort Worth website. City of Fort Worth website once that is finalized. And we're mostly looking to the Crestwood Drive, this segment right here, as well as here. Just wanted to um, point that out. Um, now we're going to go through some frequently asked questions. Do you replace the water line at my house? So we replaced the city owned service line from the property line. We also replace the water meter, the meter box, and will repair impacted areas on your property. We do not replace water lines from the water meter to your home or business. The service line from the water meter to your home or business is considered private plumbing. And in the event of a leak, repairs need to be made at the homeowner's expense by a licensed plumber. Will you need access to our property? So the construction is in the public right of way and or in utility easements. If the Fort Worth Water Department needs access to your property, we will contact you prior to the start of construction. Will our sanitary sewer service be disrupted? The sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. New cleanups will be installed at the property line or easement line, and the sewer cleanup provides um, our field operation crews easy access in case of backup or blockage occurs. The sewer service line from the clean out to the house is the owner's responsibility to maintain, but if there's a blockage that occurs, the field operations crew can come out and let you know if it's on your side. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when the services are being transferred from the existing line to the temporary water line and when they're being transferred from that temporary water line to the new water line and these switchovers are done during the day. The contractor will knock on the door and let the customer know when the water will be turned off. And as I mentioned before, it typically takes 15 to 30 minutes per home or business. How does the temporary water line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. Water must continuously flow through the temporary line, which is above ground. 
During the winter months to keep the line from, from freezing, customers should also keep their faucets stripping. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground line. The bill for your water usage while you are on the temporary water line is based on the average of your previous month's usage. Will the city's trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick them up. What happens if my property is damaged? The contractor will take pictures and video of the property before starting construction. We also encourage the property owners to take pictures and video of their property before construction starts. The contractor will restore the property to its original condition. Will the construction affect my irrigation? The contractor will ask property owners to turn on the irrigation system so sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor has to cap irrigation lines before construction starts and the contractor will replace cap or damaged irrigation systems. Are there restrictions on when we can water our lawns? Yes, requirements include no watering by irrigation systems or sprinkler systems between the hours of 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Watering by handheld hose, strip irrigation or soaker hose is allowed at any time. And the twice a week irrigation system schedule is actually seen on the screen on the right. So Monday, no watering allowed. Tuesdays and Fridays is um, for apartments, businesses, parks, or common areas. Wednesdays and Saturdays are for even number residential homes and Thursdays and Sundays are for odd number residential addresses. Timeline, so this is the design meeting. Um, this project, as I mentioned, is a combination of two projects and we will be splitting that up when we get closer to construction. Most likely phase one will occur on the northern side of the neighborhood and phase two will occur a year later on the southern side. Um, we expect construction to start uh, winter this year, so probably around December time. So the next steps include um, splitting the project up into phase one and two once construction is complete. We'll advertise for bids. We will open the bids and award the con go to council to award the contract to the lowest responsible bidder. We will then have a pre-construction meeting with the contractor, the inspector, and then we once we have met with everyone and kind of faced scheduled what facing we want to do. We will hold a community construction meeting to update everyone impacted by the project. So everyone that's currently on the call and then construction will begin. Where can I get more information? So progress will be updated on the city of Fort Worth website. Um, two links above because of the two projects. You can go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and put in the project number 103361 or 103362, and it should populate with um, either North Bailey, Crestwood, Lindenwood, and Oakland area water and sewer improvements as a title, or Rockwood area water and sewer improvements based on what project number you search. And you will be able to find the link to this meeting video, the project map, as well as frequently asked questions, as well as summary of this project meeting will be linked to both pages. Here is my contact information. Again, my name is Brenda Oropesa. My number is 817-392-8271. That number is 817-392-8271. And my email address is brenda.oropesa at fourthwordtexas.gov. And that's O-R-O-P-E-Z-A. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? Um, you can call our water cost center during the hours of 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Friday. Their number is 817-392-4477 and they are closed city holidays. However, if you have a, an emergency such as a water main break leak or a sewer backup, you can contact that same number 817 
392-4477-24 hours a day and select option one. Or you can download the MyFW app from the App Store or Google Play. Um, you can report sewer overflows, leaks and water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, lack of water service, water pressure issues, or other sewer concerns on that app. And that app is MyFW on the App Store or Google Play. All right, thank you. I'll hand it over to Sally where she'll um, go through all the questions that were asked during the presentation and then we'll open it up to questions with our calling users. Thank you. Okay, Brenda, we have a question from Denise. She says, I didn't see the area behind 419 North Bailey slash 417 North Bailey slash 430 Ridgewood slash 420 Ridgewood. There's a sewer pipe that desperately needs to be repaired slash updated. So 419 North Bailey, 417, 430 Ridgewood, 420 Ridgewood. So 419 um, North Bailey. North Bailey and 4. 419 North Bailey, 417 North Bailey, and 420, what was that? 420 okay. Ridgewood and 430 Ridgewood. Okay, I'll um I'll look into the area to make sure that line is mentioned. So it's the sewer line that needs to be, you said sewer? Yes, there's a little piece of sewer sticking out. It's kind of in between those four pieces of property. It's sort of in no man's land. And um, it, the pipe is too small. And so just some um, water just pools there. And people have come out and looked at it over the years. I just assumed it would be part of this project. Um, okay. it, it'll connect it, but you might want to take a look at it. Right. Thank so, you. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. I'll um, look it over and if it needs to be added, we'll add that to the project. Thank you. Okay, we've got one from Randy Cleveland. He said, will the project areas be staged to minimize disruption? In other words, if they're working on a certain street, will they finish that work before tearing up another street? So we will be phasing the project into um, phase one and two, and within those, they will most likely be, um, it depends on the contractor because we can't really specify how they face it. But um, once we do get to our construction meeting, we will have more information on how they're going to be facing the project. Okay, John Hawkins asks, is Eastwood Avenue water already updated as in no longer cast iron? Eastwood Avenue? I don't have yes. access to um, the GIS database right now, but I can check that tomorrow, so Eastwood Avenue. So if it's not on our project scope, it's probably most likely already been replaced. But I can check okay. on that specifically. If um, if you would, whoever asked that question, if you can get me their contact information, Sally, so I can give them a call. John, can you type that in the chat for me? Okay. The next one is from Lloyd Colgrove. And he says, please confirm the order of the projects 61, then 62. Are you asking about phasing, Lloyd? Yes. I think you already addressed that, Brenda. Yes, so um, we're looking at phasing right now to try and minimize disruption to the neighborhood, but more likely it'll be north, the northern part of the neighborhood first, and then we will proceed with the southern part um, a year after, most likely we'll go out to bids a year later. Okay, um, I just scrolled down. We've got one from Elisa Griffith. She said, Crestwood is hosting the Hidden Gardens Tour in May and want to ensure no construction will occur until the fall or winter of 2022. Yes, that is correct. We're still in the design phase and um, we're still finishing out the design and we don't expect to start construction until winter of this year. Okay. And John, I've got your contact information. Thank you. Those are all the questions we have in chat. Do any of our call-in users have a question? I have a question. 
This is uh, Mary Beth Marsh, uh, 250 North Bailey. I was just curious, if we end up um, doing some construction on our home, some renovation, if that were in the middle of this, how would that be affected? Um, if you have some construction, it depends on where they're going to be at with the construction phase and where the vehicles are parked, if that might affect it. But we won't be doing anything on private residence on your private resident until we either connect that water meter or install that clean out we'll need to pick up um, but you should have access to your home at all times and so should the contractor it shouldn't affect your construction okay terrific thank you very much okay. um this is bob holly and I was, I had a question about whether you're going to be replacing the curbs. So this project is going to be a 50 50 project. We'll work with TPW and, um. If any curb is damaged, they'll make that decision on what needs to be replaced and what. What can stay. So, if it's, um, damaged curb, they'll most likely replace it. But that'll ultimately be TPW's decision. So hopefully they'll join in on the construction meeting. Thank you. No problem. Are you going to replace the entire street or just patchwork it? We're going to be doing a full um, pulverize and overlay. So it'll be an asphalt street. And what other projects were you considering? Um, in terms of for the area or. Yes, you had said that when you started. Yeah, so there was an area on Crestwood. Let's see if I can. We are looking into adding a segment on. Right here, this is the segment right here wasn't originally on the project scope. As well as this one. So it's mostly Crestwood Drive that we're adding into the scope. Does that answer your question? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. No problem. So, Brenda, on the street, I know, I know that's later in the process, but for the, the streets that are being done, are they being fully reconstructed and. So, they will be fully repaved. All the ones we're working on, so it'll be, um, asphalt, new asphalt pavement on those areas where we're replacing the water and sewer. From with the full width, if that's what you're asking. Okay. And my understanding is none of the concrete streets, those all have up to date mains. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes, that is correct. So, Brenda, on the North Bailey, there is concrete in the north side or the middle portion as well as the south side. The portion that you're re, uh, doing the water lines is asphalt. So, is there any chance that you'll just redo concrete on all of North Bailey? That'll be um, ultimately TPW's decision, but um, from the street core reports um, we received, it it looked like it'll most likely be asphalt, but it will be TPW's decision if they want to receive bids for concrete as well. Okay, thanks. No problem. Brenda, we have a question from Brian Dove. He's asking, will they add, <clears throat> excuse me, more speed bumps and highlight all of them? Um, I'll... I'll get with TPW to see if that's something they want to do. Um, they do also review the plans, so I'll add a comment on there once they when they're reviewing those plans. Is that something they want to add? So Brenda, if you're not aware, there's currently a speed bump on the south end of Bailey between Sherwood and. Um, White settlements, but it's not well marked. Um, it's apparently been there a long time. 
Um, and I, I think, I don't want to misspeak here, Bill, Kristen, but I don't think that it's beloved by people in the neighborhood. Okay. So I'll, I'll let um, TTW know about, about the concerns and if it's a just marking issue or that we're having problems with, like how it's labeled, like the, how visible it is or? Well, it's, it's not well marked, so it's hard to see, but um, I think that there's also, I think it's uncertain whether it's doing the job it was intended to do, which is to slow traffic. Okay, yeah, for sure. I'll get with TPW and let them know. Okay, Janine Lund just um, chimed in about the speed bumps. She said no speed bumps if possible. The street there is multi multiple repaired. Multiple repaired? So and, I guess there's uh, been, Mr. go ahead. Oh, I, there's probably been um, main breaks in the area, which is why the street would probably be um, patchy. So I'll get with TPW to let them know about the speed bump concerns. And once we do repave that street, it'll be, um, there won't be any patches there. And Brenda, Bill sure is asking who the TPW contact is. At this point, we don't know that, correct? Um, that is correct. Okay. And we also wouldn't know who the contractor is until we go out for bids and, and council award that. Yes, and we will also be holding a pre-construction meeting once um, we have a contractor on board and we'll try to get someone with TPW on that meeting as well. There's nothing um, in chat. Do you have some more questions you all have come up with? Got awfully quiet. Let me run down the list. Um, we, I think Bill, you've asked questions. Bob Holly, Brian Dove, Denise, Emma. I don't remember seeing you on there yet, and Frank Diaz. I don't have any questions, thanks. Okay. We've got Jennifer Franklin, Jill Clay, John Hawkins. Okay. Nope, you did a great job, thank you. <laughs> no questions, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, Brenda, Brenda, I did have another question. Yes, ma'am. I was just curious if any of the current um uh, supply chain issues is that going to impact either the timing or scope of the project I mean, it's already been to council right so it's been yes so the approved. project's been approved um uh depending on the contractor if they have supply problems it really depends well we expect to start construction in december so I'm not sure if there'll be any shortages at yeah. that time, but most of our work is with PVC and that hasn't really been in short supply. So it's been more like ductile iron. That's okay. All right. Hey, okay, Lorene, did you have anything or Mohammed? Randy Reese? Enough for me. Okay. Oh, and Beth Karpinski. Did I say that right? <laughs> okay. Like um, like Brenda said, we will have the uh, link to this video on the both project pages. So whichever one you live in, we'll have it on both project pages. Uh, we will have our summary FAQs um, written form. We'll have them in English right now. My translator is out with surgery. So we'll get the get those translated to Spanish when she gets back in April. So if anyone asks why we don't have a Spanish translation, she's out of out of pocket right now. Um, so always if you can see the screen, you see the numbers, all you have to do is type in 103361 or 103362 to find the project page. It's the easiest way to pull it up.
And feel free to email Brenda and call her anytime. <laughs> and we will be having that construction meeting in um, probably the fall. Okay, if there's no more questions, we will close this down and thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.